Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 4.60 of chapter 4. And the statement of this question is suppose that X and Y are independent random variables having the joint probability distribution which has been written in the form of this table. So on the basis of this table we have to find part A and part B of our question. Okay. So first of all we have to see that what is this. So this is the joint probability distribution. But what we want to find out x and y which are the marginal distributions okay so marginal distributions are x and y and these are the marginal distributions Okay, so then after finding out the marginal distributions, we have to find out the expected value of them. Those would become E of X and E of Y. So now here in order to find the value of E of X and E of Y here, what do we have to do? Let us see that this is for X and this is for X as well. So here in order to find the value for let me use the black color for it. Now, in order to find the value of E of X, we have to take the value of X, which is 2. And with it, I have to multiply all the relevant probabilities with that. Okay. So, these are all the relevant probabilities with it. And I have to do what? I have to add them all together. Okay. So, let me take them all. So, these would be 0 0.10 plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.10 okay similarly with it i have to add what i have to add 4 and multiplying it with all the relevant probabilities it has i have to take the sum of all of them so what would it become it would become 4 multiplied by 0 0.15 plus 0. 30 plus 0 0.15 as well now let us do the calculation it would become 0 0.40 plus it would become 4 multiplied by what it would be 0 0.60 okay because this is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.30 is 0 0.45 and this is 0 0.60 so it is here also here it would become 0 0.80 plus 2.40 and ultimately i will get 3.20 which is the expected value of x okay so this is what we wanted to find out here and this is the expected value of x this is known now now in order to find out the value of expected value of y let me take them here so here uh, let me use it here as well so it would become expected value of y would become 1 multiplied by all the values summation of all the values of them so it would become 1 multiplied by 0 0.10 plus 0 0.15 okay plus the other value which is 3 with 3 i have to multiply all the summation of all the relevant probabilities so these are 0 0.20 and 0 0.30 so 0 0.20 plus 0. 30 plus the third one is 5 5 multiplied by all the values of here so 0 0.10 plus 0 0.15 so here it would become 1 multiplied by 0 0.25 plus 3 multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 5 multiplied by 0 0.25 okay so multiplying them together and then adding them ultimately we would get here e of y equal to 3 and this is the value of what this is the value of
e of y okay so that is known here let me use it here as well okay so this is e of y now in order to find out the values of part a and part b we have here e of 2x minus 2y okay using here the formula which is what which is the e of ax plus by we would get what it is equal to a of e of x plus b of e of y okay using the same formulation here what would i get here it would become 2 e of x minus 2 sorry this is 3 this is 3 3 e of y putting their values here the value of e of x is known and that is 3.20 so 2 multiplied by 3.20 minus 3 multiplied by e of y which is here 3 so this is 3 multiplied by 3 so what would i get here it would become 6.40 minus 9 so the value of it would become minus 2.60 okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part a of my question okay so its solution is given and this is here now in order to find the solution of part b let me move down somehow okay so in order to find the solution of part b which is e of x y which is equal to what which is e of x multiplied by e of y okay putting their values so e of x is 3.20 multiplied by e of y which is 3 so we would get so it would become 9.60 okay so that is what that is the solution of part b of our question so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 4.60 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon